Yeah. Um, actually. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline. Um, in today's video, we are upgrading Sky's room. So she currently she's sleeping on a in a crib, but she's getting way too big for it. And um, yeah, so we decided to get her a big girl bed, and that's oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Come here. Let's. So yeah, we'll be unboxing her new bed, and uh, it's really pretty. So you will get to see it. We've moved the crib on this side, and we'll just have it stay there for now until we're done with the fixing fixing the bed. And then at that time, we'll decide whether she's gonna sleep in the new bed for tonight or. Those are just toys, or in the crib, and then we can start like sleep training to get her to stay in bed. Cause the bed that she's getting, she can get her bed on her own. With this one, it was un she wasn't able to get it cause the mattress is way like like down there, so she wasn't able to get her bed. But with the new bed, we have to sleep train her and you know teach her to stay in bed even if like she wakes up in the middle of the night, she can still stay in bed. So it's gonna be a long process and. Uh, I'll take you with us as we start a new journey. I think it's new and new things. We started off by vacuuming where the crib was and then I go ahead and uh, assemble the bed. This is the bed in a box. It's a full size bed. So this is kind of bed. And uh, as you can see, she can like get to the floor while seated. So that this is one of the major reasons that we are getting her a new bed and also the fact that she tried to get out of the crib which is not a good a good thing and also very dangerous because she might fall and bump her head we had to take everything out of the box to confirm we had got everything i have to carry baby now because he is getting fussy and that way we can be able to get everything situated and started is when we realized that some parts were not had scuff marks and other parts had a terrible paint job so we decided to call Amazon and get everything situated it's the following morning uh, we ended up not fixing the bed because we had issues um, on some parts that had like scratches um, not good paint and all that stuff so we had to call Amazon and then they told us that it was uh, the bed was uh, from outside the country so we had to contact the seller uh, good thing they ended up reaching back to us and they told us to just tell them the parts that are not good that we don't like or have nail marks and they'll replace them so that's good so um, we're thinking of just putting the bed together and then once the parts come we'll just you know replace them because it's not it's not like the worst thing you know on us you know so and mistakes do happen we understand that so we're gonna put it back or we're gonna put it together and then once the new parts come we'll just replace as we go and I'm super excited I was very disappointed last night I'm very disappointed because we really wanted the bed for her it was like a Christmas gift from us and then that happened so yeah so I made breakfast for her she's gonna have breakfast in bed in her crib uh, upstairs and then we'll fix the bed hopefully baby boy is gonna be good you know cry a lot you know so yeah I'll take you with us guys as we go get it done and I hoping that it is what I've been seeing online because I love it it's really pretty and beautiful it's the following day we already talked to the seller and they reached back to us and they assured us that they would be replacing the parts that we didn't like or had bad paint uh, so we went ahead and put it together and uh, we will be replacing the parts as they come because they said they will uh, be replacing them so 
yeah now we are working on putting the bed together and we're hoping that it turns out well because we look forward to sky having this bed and she is excited to have a bigger bed she loves our bed and um i think this will be a nice fit for her and for her room while i was feeding baby kyle went ahead and started putting the bed together and this was the first part of it we are super excited at this point we are all excited and are looking forward to having a big girl bed so far so good the process is doing good so everything is fine we have all the parts that we need for the bed at this point i had to help a little bit holding on one side uh, as you can see the bed is coming in together really nicely and so far it's what we were seeing online and uh yeah we're excited you know i feel among other things this is one thing that no one can prepare you for you are not ready for the things you have to put together because so far we've put together so many things uh, starting from bassinet cribs chairs cabinets dresses all that it's a lot but worth it i'm so glad that i found this bed because it's got the rails and i think that's one of the things that i was looking for because every time like i went online to search for you know toddler beds they did not have the rail and i also did want like a very small bed i didn't want a twin size and getting a full size that had rails was tricky but good thing and we got lucky that we found this bed it's a full size bed it has the rail and it has some fancy roof that we'll put together so yeah I am glad that we got this and I was patient enough to wait because I think this took us like six months to finally find something that we both liked and was going to fit for like our room and now like the rails and it has a trundle bed, a twin size underneath it. So I think it, it's perfect. So now we have the mattress on and the mattress we got from Costco, it is a full size mattress and eight inches thick and it, it fits perfectly. Uh, now we're putting the sheets, the sheets we got them from Target um, and they're very like uh, soft and stuff so I think she's going to like these ones. The comforter as well that matching the bed sheets we got from target as well you know the kids are somewhere in the room just playing and uh, moving around the trundle looks good so we need another mattress for that she did not like it at first I tried to do all sorts of things but she couldn't get in there because we just got out of the crib. <laughs> Today is the third day. We got her a shurak. It's been sitting in the house for a while. We've not put had time to put it together. So today is the day that we'll get it fixed and, uh, you know, put in the closet and uh, have our shoes on it. Next time we have a project like this, I think I'm going to... We're going to do it around kids nap time because every time that we are putting things together i'm always holding baby boy or uh, you know just feeding him i guess this, next time we just have to time it to a time when they're taking a nap so that we can get things done because now it's only one person doing it it takes longer to finish what we are uh, wanting to do so here's a progress 
Uh, this is the shoe rack that she's been using. It has fabric and every time like we put stuff, it sags. And I have these little bins for her. Some have uh, gloves, socks, just little stuff for her. So I have shoes on here. So I'll just take them out and uh, to put the other one in. So now I'm putting the uh, the rack in here. I think this is meant to be like on the hallway, but I, it looks pretty in her room, and I just wanted it wanted her to have it. And it ha it's it's wood and metal, and I wanted the top part mostly because I can put the beans, and it's not gonna like sag. So Sky loves it, and she did that, and she's now getting on it. Good thing we have bins to put on top so she won't be climbing there and uh we can always close the door in the uh the closet door so that she doesn't go in there and climb and fall and all that we don't want that so the beans fit there perfectly the three beans i have three beans for her and they fit perfectly now it's time to put all the shoes away we just are looking at her little shoes. She wore these when she was like two months. And she has lots of shoes. That one she got from Kenya. My mom got it for her. And I think we're going to keep it for baby boy because they're blue. So anyone can wear them. They're gender neutral. Don't take him downstairs because I'm not coming. Yes. It's been a minute. I'm 